<clears throat> what if I told you that the most chaotic, ridiculous, and satisfying moments in gaming, like are not random. Nope, they are calculated. And who's doing all this calculation? Some secret wizard, Dr. Wayne, the game's code? Well, kind of. It's Havoc. You've probably seen Havoc logo flash by during the loading screen and thought, what is Havoc? Who is Havoc? Do I like butter? Havoc isn't a game engine like Unreal or Unity. It works silently in the background making games feel heavy and like chaotic and unpredictable yet perfectly calculated here's the big question how did a tiny company from dublin quietly became the backbone of modern gaming and maybe an even better question why do we never talk about the software that powers over 600 of the biggest games ever made what is havoc why does this matter? The simple answer, Havoc is a physics engine. Imagine you're playing snow runner, trucking through the mud, and having a grand old time. And suddenly you think this hill, I can make it. Spoiler, you cannot. Your truck flips over, tumbles down the slope and lands upside down in the puddle of your shattered dreams. But why did your truck fall the way it did? Why did it bounce, twist? roll in such a perfectly chaotic way. That is Havoc at work. A physics engine like Havoc simulates the rules of the real world. It's responsible for gravity. It is my collisions. Ragdoll physics, you know. Destructible environments when buildings crumble, or a barrel shatters in Half-Life 2, Havoc decides how those pieces fall apart. Now, here's the thing. It's not the chef, it's the spice rack. It's middleware, which is a fancy way of saying it's a tool that works inside of a bigger system. Developers use Havoc to handle the complex math behind physics interactions, plugging it into game engines like Unity, Unreal, or custom engines like Bethesda's creation engine. Think of a game engine as a car. Havoc is the suspension system. It's not flashy, but without it, the ride would feel stiff. Let's rewind and picture this. The year is 1998. Havoc wasn't born in Silicon Valley. It started in Dublin, Ireland, in the offices of Trinity College. Two computer scientists, Hugh Reynolds, and Steve Collins wanted to solve a problem. Why didn't video game worlds feel alive? Back then, physics in games were, well, objects didn't react dynamically. In the year 2000, they launched the first version of Havoc Physics. And by 2003, they had their first major success, Max Payne 2. This game wasn't just about slow motion gunfights. It was the first to feature physics-driven ragdoll, where enemies collapsed dynamically when shot. It added grit, weight to every firefight. But Havoc didn't become a household name, at least not for nerds anyways, until 2004, when Valve released Half-Life 2. The gravity gun let players pick up and throw objects, and Havoc handled all of the real-time calculations. You could grab a saw blade, fling it at a zombie, and watch it slice through the air with perfect precision. After Half-Life 2, Havoc became the gold standard for physics in-game. Between 2004 and 2010, it powered some of the most iconic games ever made, including Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, Bioshock, Fallout 3. Havoc was everywhere. It wasn't about making games look realistic. It was about making them feel alive.
In 2007, Intel bought Havoc for $110 million, seeing it as a way to optimize gaming performance on their processors. But Intel wasn't the only one with big plans for Havoc. No, in 2015, Microsoft bought Havoc from Intel for an undisclosed amount. Microsoft did not just want Havoc for its Xbox exclusives, they integrated Havoc into their Azure cloud platform, enabling developers to offload physics calculations to the cloud. But Havoc isn't the only player in the physics game. No, it's often compared to Nvidia's Physex. Physex, now back to Havoc. Fast forward to present day, and Havoc is still powering some of the most physics intensive games on the planet. Take SnowRunner as an example. In SnowRunner, every bump, roll, and stuck in a mud moment feels real because Havoc is calculating the physics in real time. It's not just about making the game frustratingly realistic, it's about making every truck flip feel earned. Havoc isn't flashy, it's not trying to. It's the invisible hand making your favorite games feel alive, chaotic, and endlessly entertaining. So, the next time you're playing Skyrim, Halo, Pokemon, Legend of Zelda, take a moment and appreciate Havoc. Bye.